In this video, I'll teach you how to create a pop-up forms in Flowdesk. Pop-up forms work exactly how they sound. They pop up on your website after a certain amount of time or if someone clicks on a certain button. <laughs> Hello, internet people. My name is Robert and I help creators with the technical side of their business. This is the fifth lesson in my complete Flowdesk course. To see the, the whole course, click on this video right here and it'll take you to YouTube uh, playlist and there you can select what you need. Let's get started with this lesson. To get started, just head to the Forms section in Flowdesk dashboard. By the way, if you're still in the free trial with Flowdesk and you want to continue with them and pay for it, you can get 50% discount for the first year if you use my promo code TIPS with PUNCH. That's all capitals and all together. And if you need to create a pop up, let me show you how to do that. Let's go to new form from here, just pop up. And let's say I'm just going to pick one. I'll show you just quickly because the process is pretty much the same. Let me select the segment. So the way this editor works is similar way as the email and also if you build other pop-ups. Here you have the canvas and here you have the settings. So if you just click on the canvas, you get the form settings. So for example, from here you could select preferences and you see you see these options. Or you could uh, remove the image on mobile or add it actually on mobile. So if you click on the image itself, you could upload something from here. Let's see, here's a picture of me. Uh, upload it here there you go you can zoom in zoom out and also have some overlay effects and when you cl click on the text you can just override it so hello i'm robert so something like that but the text that was there made more sense here you have the settings for the fonts and stuff and same thing if you click on this email field you can add additional fields so from here add field first name last name and so on Again, you can also change the style of, uh, of this input field just by changing from here. You see it, it changes slightly the color and same thing with the button. If you click on it, you can change the styling from here. And don't forget that you can always view this on mobile by clicking on this uh, button. So this is how the pop up will look like on mobile. So let's go back. So that's all quite standard, like in everything in the Flowdesk. So let me just show you how it, where this differs from the others. Let's click on next here. There's a few extra steps when you uh, go here. So you see here again, should we enable an op double opt in? No, continue. Display this pop up immediately after 10 seconds when visitors cross 30%. Let's say I actually want to show this after 30 seconds, then continue. Should we show this to return visitors who already subscribe? You can choose yes, but actually I'm going to just hide it. I don't want to, you know, people that already subscribed, why would we show that again? Click on continue. Okay, when subscribers opt into this form, do not notify me. And then after this form submitted, display success message. Yeah, that's the same as we had before. Now, this works exactly the same way. We just come here, copy this code. In this case, there's just one compared to the inline form. And now if I go to my website and I'm inside WordPress and this Elementor as mentioned, again, I need to find an HTML element. And again, it, this should work in pretty much any page builders. You just need to find the HTML uh, element. So I'm going to drag it here. And now I'm going to paste the code. Now, in this case, because it's a pop up, you're not going to actually see anything. It's just empty. There's a lot of code there, but it's just empty. So if I now preview this. And now I just need to wait for 30 seconds. You can see that it pops up like this. So now people that are on my website after 30 seconds on this page, you get this pop up. Okay, cool. In the next lesson, which you can watch by clicking on this video right here, you will learn how to create a full page form in the in Flowdesk. This is uh, for people that basically don't have a website yet, but still want to build an email list. Perfect solution for that. 